Hi there. I've got a tip I want to show you for those of you who spend a lot of time looking at small specimens under the stereo microscope. It's a specimen manipulator. It's, uh, it's cheap, it's easy to make, and it's even easier to use. The two components are a large hex nut and a practice golf ball. The construction is as simple as this. Cut a wedge out of the golf ball and I just use a bread knife, cut into it here, and then I'll cut that wedge just a little bit bigger than 90 degrees. The practice golf ball is, you know, it's got to be one of those foam balls, but you can use any kind of foam ball of approximately this size. There we go. Save the wedge for later. And sort of wipe crumbs off it. Place it on the uh, on the nut. Place your specimen in there. Put her under the scope, and have a look at this. You can get just about any angle you like. Easy to use, infinitely adjustable. Now, what do you do if you want to look at the underside of the specimen? Well, I generally, if it's an insect specimen, I take the label off, I'll pin it in like that, and then just get it at a steeper angle. And if you've cut the ball correctly, you should be able to get it to, to sit in a stable way. With the specimen at a steep angle. There's another way to do the, uh, the underside, and that is to take a paper clip, bend it out, trim some of the wire off, place a small piece of foam that you save from the wedge that you cut out of the ball, and then uh, all you do is pin the specimen in upside down, Rotate it into the holder, and voila, you can get whatever angle you want that way. If you have a number of these things, you can make yourself a modular system. You can examine and compare multiple specimens. Just put one down, put another one up and it speeds up your uh, your time at the bench perfectly good what happens though you're saying if you've got a microscope that doesn't come up quite as high as uh, as this scope well then instead of the um the nut you use a malleable bevel washer who knew such a thing even existed and you can either cut a very thin um low Piece. Now that doesn't give you quite as many angles, or you can cut more deeply into the ball and still keep the specimen fairly low to the stage of the microscope. Works for me. Here's another neat trick. Let's say you want to look at uh, small fossils. Just gouge out a bit of the foam. I use my fingernails. I've got guitar playing fingernails and I use them for that and then put in some adhesive putty and then place the fossil on the adhesive putty and manipulate it the same way you would an insect. It's cheap, about two dollars, maybe two fifty per unit. Of course sometimes you have to buy a lot of those golf balls and uh, I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching.